hello students in this lecture we will discuss about pleural effusion what is pleural effusion pleural effusion is a condition in which the fluid is accumulate inside the pleura there are mainly two type of pleural effusion one is transudative type transudative type and another is exudative type exudative type so first of all transudative type in transudative type there is decrease in oncotic oncotic pressure inside the blood vessel uh, or increase in hydrostatic pressure hydrostatic hydrostatic pressure either of these condition can cause transudative type of pleural effusion another type is exudative type in which there is inflame inflammation of vessels around around the pleura around pleura so due to uh, inflammation there is leakage of fluid leakage of fluid which is transudative type of pleural effusion the sign and symptoms of pleural effusions are mainly cough pain on chest pain on inspiration on inspiration similarly on auscultation there will be pleural rub okay so we will discuss about investigations first of all we will do chest x-ray in chest x-ray we can see that there is there will be curved shadow curved shadow curved shadow at the base of the lungs at the base of the affected lungs okay similarly there will be a raised costophrenic angle Costophrenic angle is raised or occluded. Occluded. So there is also a raised hemidiaphragm. Hemidiaphragm on the affected side. For the sh shadow to be formed on the lungs, there the fluid requirement is approximately 200 ml. So more than 200 ml of fluid is required for the shadow to be formed similarly we will do ultrasound as it is very good for fluid fluids similarly we will do aspiration biopsy aspiration of fluid in aspiration we can see the fluid color its composition for example it may be composed of blood or pus pus in empyma empyma and blood can also present similarly we can do ct scan ct scan is done usually when malignancy is suspected so when malignancy is suspected we will do ct scan now we will discuss about management of pleural effusion there are mainly two type of management first of all, one is therapeutic aspiration therapeutic aspiration in which we will aspire fluid for therapeutic aspiration we should note that we should not aspire greater than 1.5 liter of fluid why 1.5 liter of fluid more than because there is a risk of expansion expansion pulmonary edema so we will not aspire more than 1.5 liter of fluid daily similarly for large aspiration for large effusion we drain the fluid using the chest tube drain the fluid via chest tube okay now the second option is treat the underlying cause underlying cause when we treat the underlying cause the pleural effusion will be decreased so this is all about pleural effusion thanks for watching